Does this rock finally hold the answer to the question of life? The NASA rover Perseverance has discovered a mysterious rock on Mars that shows that the red planet could indeed have produced extraterrestrial life. In detail, the rock is adorned with some dark bordered tracks that contain iron and phosphorus. And as luck would have it, such leopard spots on Earth are typically produced by microorganisms. So have we finally discovered the microbial inhabitants of Mars? What conclusions can be drawn from this unique discovery? And could our neighboring planet still be hiding extraterrestrial life forms? Well, amazingly, the chances of this are not at all bad. Experts have recently discovered a gigantic reservoir of liquid water under the surface of Mars, which, in their opinion, could represent a life-friendly world. What do Albert's theory of relativity and a sensational find on Mars have in common? That's right, in both cases, it's Einstein slash a rock that has the research world holding its breath. But all jokes aside, what perseverance discovered on the surface of Mars a few months ago does indeed have the potential to make it into the astronomical history books. The bottom line, however, is that the NASA rover has been on Mars since February 18th, 2021, where it is taking a close look at the landscape and rocks of the Jezero Crater. And of course, this is not just any randomly selected landing and research site, but an area of almost 50 kilometers in size, which was formed by a meteorite impact in the distant past and until 3.8 billion years ago, still contained a full-grown crater lake with tributaries. It is now undisputed that the cool liquid once sloshed in abundance on the red planet, but the question of where all the Martian water has gone over time is somewhat more controversial. Well, that is, if it has disappeared at all, of course. In fact, a new research study has come to the groundbreaking conclusion that the water has by no means literally disappeared into thin air, but has merely shifted underground. But more on that later. While Perseverance is examining the former river delta in the Jezero crater, it's supposed to collect material samples for transport back to Earth on the one hand, and on the other hand, search for possible traces of former Martian life. And as NASA announced in July of this year, the rover may have hit the jackpot. In detail, the rover came across a very special rock formation on the northern edge of the ancient river valley of Naredva that had never been seen before on Mars. More specifically, the object of desire is a rock about one meter long and 60 centimeters wide, which experts named Chayava Falls and which attracts attention with some telltale traces. This is already the case with the broad white sulfate veins, between which a distinctly darker reddish material slumbers, indicating the presence of hematite. This is not unusual in and of itself. After all, this iron oxide mineral is anything but rare on Mars. However, this explicitly does not apply to the dozens of spots, only a few millimeters in size, that are embedded in the dark hematite deposits. And while the mini spots appear as irregularly shaped dirty white dots, they are surrounded by rings of black material. The most enigmatic, complex, and potentially important rock. Subsequent analyses have shown that the dark rings contain iron and phosphate, and what may sound to us mere mortals like just a boring list of geological contents has the experts completely beside themselves with excitement. Ken Farley of the California Institute of Technology emphasizes that Chayava Falls represents nothing less than the first unequivocal evidence of organic material on Mars. But that's not all. In the same breath, Farley also describes the chunk as the, quote, most enigmatic, complex, and potentially most important rock Perseverance has examined so far. This is for the simple yet exciting reason that the colored leopard spots could indicate chemical reactions that microbial organisms use as an energy source. The spectrometer investigations showed that the spots and their surroundings contain organic carbon compounds, and together with the phosphates and the iron, they are even more reminiscent of those traces that are often associated with microbial activity on Earth. Specifically, the terrestrial spot creators are often microbes that have once immortalized their fossil remains in the subsurface. Iron and phosphate are typically released when the microorganisms reduce iron oxide. And as mentioned, Chayava Falls was located in an environment that was even wetter billions of years ago. 
and thus perhaps created the ideal conditions for microbial life to flourish. But what does the discovery of the rock mean in reverse? Has Perseverance now answered what is arguably the oldest question of humanity? Whether Earth is really the only celestial body in the universe to have produced life? With a resounding no? Well, not quite, because the truth also includes the fact that, while organic molecules on Earth often come from bacteria, they can also be formed by geochemical, abiotic means that do not require the involvement of living things. For example, we know of such compounds being formed in the context of volcanic activity. And if the material from Chayava Falls was also heated by lava, we would have to quickly discard the idea of tiny Martian inhabitants. In fact, a grain of the mineral olivine, which is considered a solid component of magma, has even been detected in the rock in question. And yet it remains complicated because the mere fact that there was once volcanism in this area does not mean that the leopard spots cannot come from microorganisms. The Hidden Martian Ocean As we can see, Chayava Falls still holds many unsolved mysteries for us, and unfortunately, this is not going to change much in the near future. That's because the researchers point out that they have largely exhausted their remote sensing measures. In other words, Perseverance has already bombarded the rock with lasers and x-rays and photographed it day and night from every conceivable angle. To understand the secrets the Martian rock really holds, scientists need to study it up close, and that is only possible once the relevant samples have been brought back to our blue home planet. But once the day of return transport has come, experts will be able to use high-precision analytical instruments to determine whether we are really dealing with the fossilized work of Martian microbes or just the result of volcanic activity. And amazingly, it could even be that Mars has in fact still not stopped said volcanic activity. According to this, seismic data from the Mars InSight mission has strongly suggested that magma chambers must still exist within the red planet. And yet, this is neither the only nor the most exciting secret that Mars InSight has uncovered beneath the surface of our planetary neighbor. Because the probe's data also indicates that a huge liquid water reservoir is hidden at a depth of 11 kilometers. And by huge, we really mean huge. According to the experts, the amount of hidden water would be enough to form a planet-spanning ocean one to two kilometers deep. As briefly mentioned earlier, the question of where the water of the red planet has disappeared to is one of the greatest mysteries of current Mars research. Until about three billion years ago, there were still rivers, lakes, and even a huge ocean there. But then a drastic climate change closed the life-friendly chapter of Mars, and the waters disappeared from the reddish, shimmering surface. Since the polar ice caps and the water ice in the middle latitudes are not large enough to store all the water from the former Martian sea, Many researchers have long assumed that most of the water simply disappeared into space. After all, it should have been easy for the solar wind to snatch parts of the atmosphere and thus also the cool water into space due to the lack of a magnetic field. Now, however, Vashon Wright's team at the University of California in San Diego has come to the conclusion that the water loss can also be plausibly explained in another way. Because the water may not have disappeared at all, but instead seeped into the depths of the Martian crust. To test this exciting hypothesis, the researchers evaluated data from Mars quakes collected by Mars InSight in the Elysium region between 2018 and 2022. In fact, the seismological data had already revealed that there is hardly any water in the Martian crust at the corresponding landing site, but only down to a depth of around 300 meters. However, Wright and his colleagues literally looked deeper underground and realized that under the dust-dry, cold surface of the planet, there is indeed a dripping secret. Could Mars still be home to life? On the one hand, the analyses showed that the Martian middle crust is indeed porous and interspersed with cavities, as previously assumed. And on the other hand, the seismic data suggests that these fine cracks and crevices are filled with liquid water. In fact, these natural water tanks are likely to make up about 17% of the rock there. Or in other words, the collected data can best be explained by the fact that the planet's middle crust contains water in abundance. Well, 
For the sake of completeness, it should be mentioned that this is only the case if the research results are representative not only for the location of the Mars probe, but also for the rest of the planet. But if this is the case, and that is the fascinating thing, the red planet could have a gigantic groundwater reservoir stored in its deep rock pores. And given that the estimated amount of water in this scenario is even enough to flood the entire planet to a depth of one to two kilometers, another exciting question arises. Could extraterrestrial life forms be found in the underground water of Mars? Well, the experts answer this question with a simple yet intriguing, why not? After all, we should not forget that even on Earth, there are creatures that successfully defy even the most extreme conditions, such as permanent darkness and a lack of oxygen. Michael Manga from the University of Berkeley, who was involved in the study as a co-author, can be quoted as follows. Since water is a prerequisite for life as we know it, I don't see why the underground reservoir of Mars shouldn't also be a life-friendly environment. While we have yet to discover any evidence of life on Mars, we now at least have a place that would, in principle, allow life. And we now have a place for you that would allow you to never miss a new video from us again with a single click. Press the thumbs up and subscribe now to stay up to date from now on. We'll see you soon.